Singin' in the Rain, a timeless classic from 1952, continues to captivate audiences with its infectious charm and iconic musical numbers. As you think about this beloved film, perhaps one of these questions comes to mind. Do you have a cherished memory associated with this movie? Or is there a particular scene or moment in this movie that has had a lasting impact on you? This delightful cinematic gem takes us back to the glamorous Hollywood of the late 1920s, offering a humorous and heartwarming peek behind the scenes of the transition from silent films to talkies. The film's catchy tunes, memorable characters, and, of course, Gene Kelly's unforgettable rain-soaked dance sequence have left an indelible mark on the world of cinema. Now, we'd love to hear your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this movie. What does Singin' in the Rain mean to you? Share your stories and memories in the comments below, and let's celebrate this cinematic masterpiece together. In the 1952 movie Singin' in the Rain, there was an interesting change in the character of Don Lockwood. Originally, Howard Keel was the first choice to play the role, but he was replaced by Gene Kelly. The character's background shifted from a western actor to a song and dance vaudeville performer as the screenwriters evolved the story. This alteration had a significant impact on the film and the character's portrayal. It demonstrates how the creative process in making a movie can lead to changes that affect the final product. Stay tuned for more insights into the making of Singin' in the Rain. Costume designer Walter Plunkett faced an extraordinary challenge while working on the 1952 movie Singin' in the Rain. He declared it to be the most demanding project he ever undertook, even more so than Gone with the Wind. This iconic film set in the late 20 seconds demanded around 500 elaborate, ornately detailed costumes to capture the essence of that era accurately. Plunkett's craftsmanship in creating these outfits was essential because the audience in 1952 had a vivid recollection of Hollywood in the late 1920s. The attention to detail and historical accuracy in the costumes played a crucial role in bringing the film to life. This fact highlights the dedication and effort that went into making Singin' in the Rain a timeless cinematic masterpiece. Debbie Reynolds had a tough time making the 1952 movie Singin' in the Rain. She once said it was one of the hardest things she ever did. The filming experience wasn't pleasant because Gene Kelly, a perfectionist, was harsh with her. In later years, Kelly expressed regret for his behavior, acknowledging that he hadn't been nice to Debbie. It's a wonder she still speaks to him. This behind-the-scenes insight adds a layer of complexity to the making of Singin' in the Rain, shedding light on the challenges faced by the cast and the impact of Kelly's demanding approach. It's a reminder that even in the creation of a beloved classic, there can be moments of difficulty and regret. The screenwriters of the 1952 movie Singin' in the Rain found inspiration in a real-life story. They purchased a house in Hollywood from a former silent film star who lost everything when the advent of sound in movies ended his career. This real-life twist served as a foundation for the film's storyline, capturing the impact of the transition from silent films to sound. It's a reminder that the movie drew from the industry's history to create a timeless classic. The iconic 1952 movie Singin' in the Rain is filled with interesting behind-the-scenes stories and details that add depth to the film. One notable fact is that the Make Him Laugh sequence was created because Gene Kelly felt that Donald O'Connor needed a solo number. As O'Connor noted in an interview, Gene didn't have a clue as to the kind of number it was meant to be. The two of them brainstormed ideas in the rehearsal room and came up with a compendium of gags, an SH tick that O'Connor had done for years, some of which he had performed in vaudeville. O'Connor recalled, Every time I got a new idea or remembered something that had worked well for me in the past, Gene wrote it down, and, bit by bit, the entire number was constructed. This fact sheds light on the creative process behind one of the film's most memorable scenes, demonstrating the collaboration and innovation that went into making Singin' in the Rain a timeless classic. It showcases how the film's creators adapted and crafted moments that have become iconic in the world of cinema. While the film makes a central point of the idea that Kathy's voice is dubbed over Lena Lamont's, what is not told is that, ironically, and would you? And one portion of You Are My Lucky Star, Debbie Reynolds, the actress who plays Kathy, is actually dubbed by Betty Noyes. However, Reynolds' own singing voice is used in the rest of the score. The 1952 movie Singin' in the Rain is a beloved classic, 
known for its iconic musical numbers and memorable performances. However, a little known fact about the film is the use of dubbed voices in certain songs. While the plot revolves around the idea of dubbing Kathy's voice over Lena Lamont's, it's interesting to note that in a couple of instances, it's not actually Debbie Reynolds, the actress who portrays Kathy, singing. Instead, her singing voice is dubbed by Betty Noyes in the songs Would You, and a part of You Are My Lucky Star. This surprising twist adds a layer of complexity to the film's production and showcases the behind-the-scenes work that went into creating the movie's iconic musical moments. The film's use of dubbing for these songs demonstrates the meticulous attention to detail and the dedication of the filmmakers to ensure that the musical performances were of the highest quality. It's a testament to the artistry and craftsmanship that contributed to making Singin' in the Rain a timeless cinematic masterpiece. So, while the film's central theme revolves around the concept of dubbing, it's fascinating to discover this lesser-known fact about the use of a different singer's voice in some of the songs. This revelation highlights the intricacies of the filmmaking process, and how every element, including the music, was carefully considered to create a classic that continues to enchant audiences to this day. In the 1952 movie Singin' in the Rain, the behind-the-scenes dynamics were far from the joyful, harmonious image presented on the screen. It turns out that Donald O'Connor and Debbie Reynolds, who played key roles in the film, did not have an enjoyable experience working with Gene Kelly. They revealed that Kelly was verbally belittling and a tyrant on set, making the initial weeks of filming a terrifying experience. Donald O'Connor confessed that he was constantly afraid of making a mistake and being subjected to Kelly's harsh criticism. This revelation provides a stark contrast to the on-screen chemistry and charm that the actors displayed in the film. It highlights the challenges faced by the cast, especially under the perfectionist and demanding direction of Gene Kelly. This inside look into the less pleasant aspects of the movie-making process serves as a reminder that even in the creation of a beloved classic like Singin' in the Rain, there can be moments of difficulty and regret. It offers a glimpse into the human dynamics behind the scenes, adding depth to our understanding of this iconic film. As we step out of the enchanting world of Singin' in the Rain, it's time to let the magic of this 1952 cinematic masterpiece linger a little longer. In the midst of the glittering lights and choreographed splendor, there's something timeless and universally resonant about this film that deserves our contemplation. Set in a world of cinema's golden age, Singin' in the Rain captures the essence of an era with impeccable grace. It's a celebration of the joy and passion that drives us to dance, to sing, and to fall in love. The infectious energy of Gene Kelly's iconic rain-soaked dance, the charm of Debbie Reynolds, and the wit of Donald O'Connor, all these elements make this movie a treasure trove of emotions. Now, I invite you to reflect upon your personal connection with this classic. Was it a film that shaped your love for the silver screen? Perhaps it's a source of inspiration for your own artistic endeavors. Share your thoughts, your favorite scenes, or the memories that make Singin' in the Rain special to you. In a world that's ever-changing, this timeless tale of love, laughter, and the enduring power of dreams reminds us of the magic that lies within our own lives. So take a moment to let the raindrops of nostalgia fall on you and dance to the rhythm of your memories. Thank you for joining me in this delightful journey down memory lane. Your time and interest are greatly appreciated. Share your thoughts and continue celebrating the magic of singing in the rain. Until next time, keep singing, keep dancing, and keep dreaming.